So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is clear some room in front of you here so you can place the bracelet holder. So this has a lot of different configurations for the different thicknesses of bracelets. So just find the one that fits your bracelets and pop it in. There we go. It is nicely secure in there. So when you're actually screwing the screws in and out, um, this will hold it tightly so you can put a lot of pressure on the screw. And I hope you can see that. And you can see there that the screws on the bracelet, if you could zoom in. There we go. And we'll just remove this top one here, or the middle one here. And let's see how that goes. So, um, if, for instance, the screw is really hard to actually move, you might want to shoot it with some heat. Um, but make, make sure that it's actually isolated. So when you do shoot it, make sure you're on a low setting and you are blasting it from kind of a little further away because this gets hot pretty quick. So you don't really need to blast it for long, just for a minute. Um, well, not a minute, but just for a few seconds. The purpose of this is to unlock the Loctite that's already in place. Um, so the AD and the Omega Boutique um, they generally use Loctite to secure these screws in place so when you're actually moving around the vibrations won't slowly um, loosen these screws and so they use that and it holds it in pretty good so there are situations where this thing will come into play so when you're doing this just make sure you have a good distance away and just shoot it for a second like that and you know what that is a lot of times good enough to loosen it up Okay, so let's start with this one. So start in the middle one. So just take your time, no rushing this thing, and then just put it into the middle screw here. And remember, don't put too much pressure until you know you're exactly in that screw. Apply pressure, but slowly increase pressure. So you don't want to big, give a big jolt and slowly increase pressure until you feel the screw is moving and there it's moving if this was a little harder to do you may need to zap it again with uh, with the um, with the butane blaster there and then the screw is out take this guy and put it aside so oops and don't lose it because these are tiny so here let me kind of show you how tiny these are yeah so and they will have some residue from the previous Loctite that was put in. So you might have to clean it off a little bit. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then when this side is done here, let me kind of show you how that looks. Proceed to the other side. Put it back into the casing again. Take a look. Actually, before I do that, I'll blast it again with the heat gun. Just make sure there's nothing flam uh, flammable around that can start on fire and that should be enough. Drop it in and do the same process again on this side. Find the screw you want, very slowly proceed to it and then right when you have the screwdriver inside the screw start applying downward pressure and slowly increase pressure until it starts to move it. Don't jolt it or else you will damage the screw and scratch it and slowly unscrew and that should be it oops the screw just fell over here and again the other screw just make sure you have these because they will run away from you they're tiny and then if you have a tool like one of these which is kind of like um, is a pusher for bracelet adjustments or clasp adjustments if you don't have anything like this you could use like a needle or a paper clip even and take this guy here and what you want to do is push into that little hole there where the pin is so I'll be holding it a little closer here push it into the pin until the pin comes out and if that doesn't work um, then you want to proceed from the other side and there you go the pin is pretty much coming out here and take it out and that's it. The bracelet is apart. 
So those pieces that we removed here were the pin, which you can see, and the two screws. So after you take out the remaining screws for the other links that you want to take apart, um, it's time to put it back together again. So to put it back together, what you need to do is you need to clean the bracelet. So the bracelet's going to have some residue from the Loctite that was applied earlier. So just take a toothpick like this and just clean the little edges there and give it a little blow. This stuff comes off really easily. It's kind of flaky at this point because it's kind of been heated up and the seal has been broken. And it's important to remove the old stuff because the old stuff will compromise the integrity of the new Loctite that you're going to be applying. And yep, so just do that to this side too. You can see there I got a big chunk of it. Um, and it'll probably make the screw fit a little better too just because there's less stuff holding it in. Um, and then the screw, it doesn't matter too much, but I do like to brush it with the toothpick. Uh, the toothpick's not going to scratch anything and it will remove a lot of the excess uh, Loctite that was there earlier. And make sure when you push it that there's no, I guess, fibers from my cloth here. And give it a little blow and the stuff will just come apart. And that one looks pretty good now. And let's do the other one. It should only take a second to do each of these. And that one looks good. <laughs> Give it a blow. And there we go. That one's pretty good. And now you want to take out your Loctite or your, um, or whatever you have as a substitute. In this case, I have this brand Permatex, which I find works pretty good. And you want to take it out the top there. You could kind of see that it's coming out. There we go. And then make sure you, you don't actually make a big mess because this stuff is kind of sticky. So just put it aside here and use the toothpick. So use the toothpick we used earlier on the other end and grab a little bit of this. Yeah, let's see if I can zoom better. Grab a little bit on the head, just like that. Reapply the Loctite to your little uh, hole here in the bracelet just around around the threads. You don't need a lot of it. This stuff is pretty good. And just kind of get it in there. And now we could reapply the sleeve. So, oh, I mean reapply the pin. So just connect the bracelet back up again. Take the pin. Stick it in. And then you can use your pusher thing here. Very gently, slowly increase pressure. If your pushing is not moving, readjust the bracelet connections. And then push again. It should go in very smoothly. Oh, there it goes. And just push it. It might be a good idea to apply the Loctite after you apply the pin. But in my case here, it looks pretty good. I didn't really get any of the Loctite on the pin. And now it's time to re-screw in this top part. So again, mount it on the stand here. You can see that. Pick up the screw. Again, be careful not to lose these. And drop it in the hole there. There it is. And then that is kind of it. And then once again, grab your screwdriver. Slowly apply pressure to the top of the screw until you have it securely in the hole and then slowly start screwing it in. Make sure that the screw does not make contact with the bracelet. The screw should be the screwdriver should be perfectly in the center of the screw. This will prevent any scratching from taking place. I have a lot of the <laughs> the fibers from this cloth here, but it's okay, it's coming off. And then continue to screw in until you feel resistance. At that point, stop screwing it in. Because these are tiny screws, it doesn't take a lot of pressure in order to actually wreck them. So right when it stops, that's all you need. Stops, that's it. No more pressure. And that is how you do one of the screws. And let's do the other screw. Turn around again. Take your toothpick, apply some more of the Loctite on, 
again you need just a little bit like that it should be more than enough but let's go with it find the hole here and then just circle this around the threads there you go and then find the screw again place it on the top grab the screwdriver again slowly apply pressure to the top of the screw and then when you know it's seated nicely begin to screw in the screw and then it's going and then you feel pressure stop pressure stop that's all you need the Loctite will hold it in pretty nicely and then just to clean it up grab your cloth your paper towel or cloth here give it a little scrub do it to both sides and that should be good and let's zoom in on that and on the other side and that is how you remove and re I guess um, how you remove and reapply the I guess the, the bracelet or whatever but that's generally it another thing I want to show you is when you're actually adjusting bracelets there are two different sides the 12 o'clock side and the 6 o'clock side um, the 6 o'clock side should always be shorter than the 12 o'clock side this is because the length the distance on our wrist here is different so if you look on this side here, the 12 o'clock side, 12 o'clock side here, it's much longer going around to the bottom of the wrist than the 6 o'clock side. So to give you an example here, the clasp should always sit in the middle of your wrist. This is where it's most flat. This distance here is quite short and therefore this distance here should have less links. On the 12 o'clock side, this distance here is much longer. There you go. Therefore, that one will need more links. Um, I find a good rule for the bracelets that I wear is two additional links for the 12 o'clock side than on the 6 o'clock side. So on the 12 o'clock side, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven links. And on the 6 o'clock side, I have one, two, three, four, five. This will give you the best fit and your watch won't be moving around. The clasp at this point should be right in the middle of your wrist here where it's nice and secure and the watch will set flat right on your wrist just like that and this is the ideal fit and this is the ideal configuration for bracelets. Um, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something.